How do we practice gratitude? What is it? Gratitude is a feeling of thankfulness. Thankfulness for everything that you are, everything that you've got, all the opportunities and all the things and people around you. It is an attitude. So the statement, an attitude of gratitude, is completely valid. Let's just run through a day and think about what we might do. Because in a place of gratitude, we're focusing on the positive. And when we focus on the positive, of course, that's going to help you feel happier. When I get up in the morning, I'm present to my wife sleeping next to me. I'm present to my children sleeping next door in the rooms. I get up. I walk around my house. I see the pictures on the wall and the family that I've got. I look out of the window and see the day that's before me. I breathe and I experience my physical body, often doing yoga and other practices. And in those moments, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful to be alive and to have blood pumping through my veins and oxygen in my lungs. And then as I go into my morning routine, I start to actively feel that gratitude through exercise, through eating. What about being grateful for the fact that you've got a meal on your plate? So many people in the world don't. So many people live on less than a dollar a day. How lucky we are. How lucky we are. And then through the day, what are the opportunities that you've got? Even though you might not be where you want to be, what opportunities exist for you right now that you could take? And that's something that we could be thankful for. As we go into personal practice, what about meditation? If you meditate, a great way to start is to, first of all, breathe, say 10 breaths, quieten the mind and concentrate just on the breath. And once you quieten the mind, start opening up the heart because that's the feeling place. And when you open up the heart, you do so by feeling gratitude for three people in your life. And I say people, not things, because a thing is inanimate. It's not real, it's just an object. It's a toy, this camera, this light, they're just things. They don't really matter. People do matter. And so be grateful for the three people in your life, or more, that you've got. And you'll start feeling that. How else can we feel gratitude throughout the day? We can journal. So if you're a writer and you like writing things down, in a similar way, write down the things you're grateful for this morning. Even if you're repeating them, it gets you to consciously acknowledge. Because we only see what we focus on. So journaling, meditation, those are practices that you can do to bring gratitude to the forefront. Another two final things I want to talk about are dropping entitlement. So when we're honest, we can feel entitled to a certain result in certain situations. In other videos, I'll talk about the belief of something shouldn't be this way, it shouldn't be this way, it feels unfair, or I feel like this is what I should get when I go to this meeting, when I see this person. When we have entitlement, then we have the ability to be disappointed. So if we drop entitlement, we can enter social situations, professional situations, with no expectations. What that means is that everything positive that happens is truly a gift. Now that's a very subtle thing to be aware of within yourself, but it's highly rewarding. Finally, celebrating victories along the way. So when we are celebrating, we're doing that usually with someone that's close to us in our life, with your partner, with your friend. And when you're celebrating, you're bringing to the conscious attention the fact that you've achieved something today or something good has happened. So when you're focusing on something good, all the other stuff that could be negative could get you down, that's not present. So gratitude is... It doesn't magically happen. Yes, you can be a grateful person and you can naturally have a nice baseline of gratitude in your life, but it happens very much through practice. So I promised you at the beginning of the course that I'd show you how to do happiness. And if you want to know how to do happiness, I suggest considering some of these gratitude exercises throughout the day.